Okay, password. Try that again. Okay, okay, I know it, I know it. Um, oh no, I forgot my password. I'm sure this has happened to you where you've forgotten certain passwords using your computer. You know, this can be real devastating if you've ever forgotten your password for your login for your Windows screen. Um, a lot of times customers will bring computers in where their spouse or a little one have changed the password by accident and they can't remember what it is so they ask us to fix it. So on this edition of the Guru Brew I'm going to show you how to use a few tools that you can get online and learn how to uh, crack your own password so you're able to gain access into your Windows machine. So stay tuned and we will get started. Okay, so the first step to um, fixing the password problem on your computer is to make some media that you can use on your computer to fix the password. And the best media that I found to use is just a flash drive. And it doesn't have to be a very big one. This is a 4 gig, but a 1 gig would certainly work just as fine. You can also burn a CD that does require extra steps. and you know you have to burn the CD and everything maybe if there's enough requests for that in another class I'll do that but for now I'm going to show you how to do the USB drive version okay so the first thing you want to do is get on a Windows machine that you can get into the operating system if it's a friends or work or whatever and I will put the link down in the description you're going to a place called the pogostick.net and they have a tool called the Offline NT Password and Recovery Editor. Huge name. This is a Linux based application file that will um, go around the Windows uh, security settings and enable us to blank out the password. It doesn't allow us to change um, or rather to see the password but it does allow us to just blank it out so that we can start again and that would be good enough to gain access to the computer. Keep in mind that if you have encryption um, on your computer that's uh, fully encrypted, most people don't do it, but if you did do that, even if you crack this password, that will not crack the encryption on a Windows machine. So just be aware of that. Okay, so now that we're at the uh, pogostick.net's website and we're looking at their page here, if you go to the boot disk here and scroll down through, it's near the bottom, and find the latest download versions at this, at this time, um, they're on 11.05.11. So I'm coming down to the download section and I'm finding the latest one, it's this USB version, they also have one for a CD um, so it's this middle one here, it's files for USB install is the one that you're looking for so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, open that link that's going to ask us if we want to save, let's go ahead and save that to our desktop and then take your USB that you uh, found earlier and plug it into your computer and when you plug it into your computer you'll get a little window up that shows you the drive itself take note of what drive letter this is now in my case this is J so drive J okay that's right there Okay, so I'm going to navigate to the desktop where I save that zip file, which is here. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract all. So I'm unzipping the files. As soon as you do that, you can select all the files and then copy. And I'm going to paste them to my, re my removable drive, which is the J. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to paste. 
Good. Just like that. Okay, so on the same page that you downloaded your file from, which is here, if you come down a little bit further, there, there will be some instructions on how to make a bootable USB drive. And the thing that we have to do here is make sure that it is bootable by the operating system. And there is a little uh, code that you can copy and then put in your run box command. If you look down here on mine, right, right here, they have a, a sample command. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go to my, my run box inside my start menu and I'm going to paste that in. Now they've used X as the example but what you're to do is replace the X with whatever your drive is. Remember ours was J so I'm going to replace all of these X's, there's two of them, with J. Oops. And then hit OK. That just made a little DOS box prompt jump up there and this should be ready to use in our machine that we are going to blank the passwords out on so we can go ahead and close out all these files and take our flash drive with us over to the machine that we're going to work on next so let's do that now okay so I'm back to my machine here that I'm having the password issues with and the username that I want to um, blank out for the password is HP laptop which is here so you might want to make a note of that just so you know which username you're dealing with okay I'm gonna go ahead and shut this machine off and I'm I've got my USB drive here that I made I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my USB port on the laptop itself and the idea is to go ahead and boot this machine and boot it using this thumb drive. And it will depend on what key to press, um, depending on what kind of computer you have. A lot of times it's F12, sometimes it's the escape key, sometimes it's the F7 key. A lot of times if you just go ahead and turn your machine on, um, it'll tell you what the boot menu is if you just read it at first glance real quick this says something about escape okay I just press escape and I got this little message up here and I'm looking for the boot device options and if you look there it's F9 now this is an HP laptop and yours may vary but for HP laptop it's F9 if in doubt just go ahead and look at your uh, your book to your computer I'm gonna press F9 Okay, it's asking me how I would like to boot, and I want to boot with the USB drive. So I'm going to choose that now, right there, enter. And this is it. This is the uh, Windows Reset Password program running. And there's nothing fancy about it. It's all text-based. And generally, I will tell you, if you do nothing and you just simply hit enter key, we'll get you through much prompts. We'll get you through most prompts. See, it just started taking off on me and I didn't do anything. So it got tired of waiting on me and it just started doing it. This question must be asked though, and it's asking me what partition I want to work on and if you look there's a one and a two generally the boot partition the most large will be the right answer see this one for 15 it's number one in this case this is the right one if you get this wrong it just simply will not work and you'll have to start over again if in doubt just choose one let's go with one Enter. Okay, now it's asking me uh, to select the partition number, try that again, number one, okay. okay, there it goes, and 
it's asking me what the path to the registry directory is again in doubt just hit enter take the default it's going to attempt to do this windows system 32 config so let's go enter okay at this point it's asking me what i want to do i want a password reset recovery console or quit i want to do number one password reset number one enter okay it's asking me um if what i want to do as far as loading the hives and the first one is the one I want to do, I want to edit the user data. Number one, enter. And now it has looked through my machine and it has found all the um, usernames on this machine. And if you look, uh, there's the HP laptop. So what I would like to do is type in the name exactly as shown. In this case, it's HP laptop. And if you look at the problem, the disk is locked. So the first thing we're going to do is unlock this account. So let's type in HP laptop, exactly shown here. I got my, only got one hand, sorry. Okay, I've typed it in exactly as it was up here. Hit enter. Okay, now it's asking me what I want to do. The first thing I want to do is unlock it because if you remember, up here it's locked. So, unlock is number four. Number four, enter. And then it uh, says it's been unlocked. Now to get this same list again, you hit the period key and the enter key. And that will give you this list again. Look across, third one down, HP laptop is now blank. So that's good. Now, if it had been protected, I could type in HP laptop and then unprotect it. But in this case, I don't need to. So all I'm to do now is to quit. Quit is the explanation point here. Enter. It's asking me what I want to do. I want a Q for quit. Q. Enter. It's asking me to write files back. I want to say yes. Y. Or yes. Enter. And then it's asking me to restart the machine. So it looks like it's been done. Let's go ahead and restart this machine. Okay. I just pressed the power button and we're coming up again here. Alright guys, if you look, it looks like I've booted right in. This password has been blanked out. Let's see who the computer thinks I am. So I am logged on to this computer as HP Laptop. So um, blanking out the password has been a success. Now what I can do is I can go back into the control panel here. And you should do this. You should always be using a password. Go to the user accounts here. Change an account. Pick the account I want to change. And then create a new password here. And this time Write down your password. <laughs> Once you've made changes on this password, go ahead and write it down somewhere or make it something that you can easily remember. So I hope this uh, video has been some use to you. So next time you lock yourself out of your computer or you need to fix one of your customer's computers, um, you'll know what to do. So thanks for watching and uh, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.